Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, the place where we talk all things records. So today we're going to be doing Dark Side of the Moon versus Wish You Were Here. So in this video we're going to be seeing sort of which is a better album maybe, which people prefer and if you like both. So let's get into it because these are two seminal albums by Pink Floyd, is the group if you didn't already know. And I think the first point we've got to talk about is the cover art because these are probably two of the most famous covers ever made. Now Dark Side of the Moon has been done a lot so we'll go on to that secondly. So first off with Wish You Were Here, I think it's just got the most awesome photo. Hopefully you can see that there, and then here's the back. And the inner sleeve has a really cool design as well. This is an original US pressing, I believe, 1975 US. I thought it was a UK at first, but... And then if we look at Dark Side of the Moon, of course, everyone knows this one. If you don't, here it is. It's very, very famous, a bit like Abbey Road. And This one's also a gatefold design. Why I just open that up for you guys. It's got a similar sort of colour scheme on the inside. So I'll try and get that in shot. So the cover design as well is really important with albums because it can influence sort of the music genre as well. And of course these are two seminal designs which I, I imagine would have influenced a lot of bands. And I must say, talking about which I prefer, off the bat, Dark Side of the Moon stands out because it's just such an interesting sort of arrangement of colours and the way it's laid out with the back, that bit being upside down and that way the other way. But Wish You Were Here sort of tells a deeper story. So in a way, I'm sort of leaning towards Wish You Were Here because you're thinking, why are they shaking hands? And like, why is he on fire? Is that like, is he leaving? Is he is he sort of greeting, sort of not death, but is he greeting something dark maybe? And that's just sort of what I think is so great about these covers is they, is they both sort of tell stories in a way. And they both invite you in to think, well, what does this mean? What does this one mean? And then what does this whole... And this image on the back, is that what you see when you're greeting something dark maybe? Or, but, you know, we'll see, we'll have to sort of decide in the comments maybe. Let me know what your thoughts are. And if we move on to musical content, let's start with Doctor and the Moon as that came first. 1973 this came out by the way, and Wish You Were Here was 1975. So, of course, Doctor and the Moon, hands down, for the musical sort of arrangements and guitar work, I think this is absolutely amazing. Because the, some of the solos, the solo on time, again... That's just one of the best things I've ever heard in my life. And that's always been my argument, I'm just going to say now, is I think that Dark Side of the Moon, for the sort of actual musical arrangements, and chord progressions and that sort of thing, is a slightly better album in a way, because I know there are good stuff on Wish You Were Here, but for the way the songs were constructed and the old album was pieced together, I think this this is kind of strong the way. And lyrically, I think Wish You Were Here is better, because although there are some clever ones on here, overall, the, the songs have stronger lyrics on... Wish you were here, in my opinion. So, if I just pick this up again, and so if you can see that clearly, Wish You Were Here for lyrics. I mean, the song, the title track, Wish You Were Here, is just simply amazing, in my opinion. Because although they seem simple at first, the metaphorical side of things is really, really interesting once you get into it. Like the line, two fish swimming in a fish bowl, that one. Two lost souls swimming in a fish bowl, sorry, I just had to remember it there. But um, that line alone is just, at first, it seems like, oh, just a throwaway line, but once you start to think about it, it kind of makes sense in the metaphorical sense of just you're just circling around in life. So I think that's what's really clever about the lyrics on on Pink Floyd's music, or in Pink Floyd's music, sorry. It's that it makes you sort of think deeper. So whilst you're listening, you're like really enticed with the album. So that's what I think is really, really clever about Wish You Were Here, because it just make, it's really an album where you can just sit back and sort of go into your own world. Whereas Dark Side of the Moon... It's more of a sort of attack. It's like really in your face, and like, and the song "Money" as well is like that's really got clever rhyming. So there are, as I said, there are really strong lyrics on here. But I think the whole thing of being metaphorical is a lot stronger, maybe on "Wish You Were Here." But as I said, the song "Money" is is really good for like not political, but that sort of thing is like addressing issues and addressing things that everyday people sort of experience, sort of thing. So let me know in the comments which is your favorite. I was going to say, I can't really decide between two albums, the, the both albums, sorry. So I, I'm not, I'm really not sure. So I'm just going to say that both are my favourite because they both have pros and cons and I think they're just amazing. So let me know what you think in the comments below and thank you for watching.